When online, creators have the world at their fingertips. They have the freedom to express and curate their identity through words, images, and videos for their audience to follow. However, it's rare for creators to express themselves on a platform that has been curated solely for their interests. And that's what makes Trender stand alone in this plethora of social media apps. For one, it's a social media application that focuses only on fashion-based content. And two, its video-based platform allows a user to create or consume videos that have a minimum of one minute to a maximum of three minutes, creating the perfect amount of time for the users to stay engaged. Through research, there have been very little to no social media apps, and this creates room for Trender to blaze through and stand out in a niche market. Trender is the perfect platform for users to follow their favorite fashion creators or clothing brands, create or watch videos, browse videos, monetize their content, keep up to date with the latest fashion trends, and most importantly, express their own individuality. In a world where fashion is always evolving, Trender is a unique platform which allows users to showcase their talents globally. Some Trender key features. Users can view the creator's outfit details in the Fit Details tab on each video. The Home tab curates a feed based on the user's interests and watch habits. In other words, by the user, for the user. Users can explore the Trender, t Trender videos by selecting the Trender TV tab. And the Trending tab shows the trending videos in each country and globally too. As I work in the social media industry, it gets tiresome posting content on a generalized platform, as it's hard to keep your primary audience engaged, especially for small creators. Interest from consumers can fluctuate and the attention span is quite short. Therefore, there are two target audiences that I wish to conduct user research on. These are influencers and fashion enthusiasts. But first, here's my creative process. My design thinking process was as followed. Ideating. I experimented and started creating the concept of Trender. This was explored through sketching, graphic testing, user's research, feedback, and writing draft concepts. User research. This helped me get a gauge on my target audience and understand the user needs and online watch habits. Prototyping. By creating and experimenting with wireframes, I was able to design and test any ideas or concepts that were reflected in my progress journal. This included experimenting with interface functions, visual components, text legibility, how to enhance the user experience, and what heuristics I can apply to increase functionality and practicality. Testing. Through self and user testing, I was able to determine functionality and the standard task flow, user needs, and what areas need improving on to enhance the user experience. Define. Through testing my prototype myself and through other users, I was able to identify any key issues within the app. Empathizing. Through, an, through anal, a, analyzing my two users, I was able to understand their needs and perspective. When presenting my concept to my peers, users, and survey participants, the general response was that they've never heard of this concept before, and the majority would download and partici participate on Trender. This already creates a mental model. To get a gauge on both audiences, I conducted two surveys to get the critical information from both audience types. The first survey was created for influencers and the second for fashion enthusiasts. I asked four influencers to answer the survey. The questions centered around why influencers take part in content creation in fashion. 75% of, of results found that influencers do it as a hobby, while 25% do it as a full-time job. 100% said self-expression self is their main motivation for doing it. These results align with the overall goal of self-expressing on, on Trender. The survey conducted assisted my solution with short TV. In question five, I asked if the one to three minute time frame was appropriate. 100% said yes. This enabled me to proceed with the video length. The second survey was for fashion enthusiasts. 10 questions were asked, collecting data about participants' interest in fashion, watch habits, and interface knowledge. The standard data collected 80% of participants were aged between 18 to 24. This helps identify the age range for my target audience. I also ask questions like, does merging fashion and social media interest you? And would they like to use the app? And 100% voted yes. To ensure I was on the right step of my first wireframe iteration, I wanted to ask the, the participants if they, could rate, if they could rate the video just from looking at the screenshot attached. All said yes, but when, the, when asked how, 80% said the star icon, which I didn't initially add as an option to rate a video, only the rate this video text. From this survey data, I made the star icons an option to rate a video. The data collected helps me to enhance the user experience, eliminate any user problems, and ensure all symbols have a clear indication of its function. So why video? 
From personal experience in the social media industry and through these surveys, this can be answered through both audience perspectives. For influencers, video content offers them creative freedom to go visually and verbally more in depth about their outfits, stories, and any brand works, tapping into the viewer's interest and making more of an impact than just a static image. For the fashion enthusiast, the one to three, three minute video time frame maintains audience engagement and minimizes the chance of the viewer losing their attention span as quickly. I tested both user tasks on my first iteration of my prototype to understand the general task flow. It took approximately 22 seconds to perform task one and 17 to perform task two. To consider the user needs and functionality, Trenda is built on the following principles and heuristics. Recognition over recall, consistency as standard, visibility of system status, feedback, constraints, and affordances. User one is Tara. Tara is a 23 year old and enjoys fashion. Tara works directly in social media. User two is Shan. Shan is 20 years old and currently works in retail. Shan enjoys vintage fashion. I selected both users to conduct the user testing on both iterated versions of my prototype as they are both fashion content creators across multiple social media platforms and represent my target audience. The, these are the goal-based user tasks. In summary, the tasks are select a video to watch in full screen mode and then favorite this video, then followed by rating a video. Both users assumed that the interface would appear quite clean and minimalistic, already building their own mental model. User one Tara had expressed that she was confused by the login screen when opening the app. As this is just a prototype, this clearly lacked context. Shan didn't express this confusion. Both users carried out the task with ease, all being able to navigate through the interface and interact with affordances and respond to feedback when it was received. Shan even said she enjoyed the interface at the end of the process. Although both users tried to go back to the Trender TV tab, but weren't able to due to no prototype action being put in place here. Therefore, they went to the Home tab first and then to the Trender TV tab to perform the second task. This was an unintentional error and stunted the user's freedom on the interface. Although these errors were negative, through both these users speaking out loud and expressing their emotional response to the interface, it helped me to define issues and how I can fulfill the user's needs in the next prototype. To improve my next iteration, I wanted to delete the login page, as this is redundant for user testing, add thumbnail images, and ensure all features such as returning to Trender TV tab up to task one work seamlessly. Now that I have defined the issues within my first iteration, I created high fidelity wireframes and, and aimed to improve the user experience by eliminating any problem identified. Adding vector images and thumbnails to the prototype helped bring full visual component to fruition. With the images, illustration, and color selection, this brings a new heuristic to my design, aesthetic and minimalistic design. This was implemented to excite the, the users. I also added the paid partnership icon located at the top of the screen and an option called fit details, so viewers can see where the creators got their outfits from. Both users undertook both tasks again with the second iteration of my prototype. Both voiced that they enjoyed the new iteration with the images, vector illustrations, and the improved features. It also increased the speed of these tasks being performed, with task one taking approximately 38 seconds to complete and task two taking approximately 20 seconds. Focusing on task two, Tara said that she was happy that the login slash signer page was removed and voiced that it was more straightforward. Tara then seemed excited and she found the interface looking aesthetically pleasing, which was the intention when adding these images and illustrations. Both users also voiced that they could successfully rate the video without any issues occurring. Shan seemed to so, seem so excited about the interface, voicing that it was a cute design. Both users were excited that all issues in the previous iteration were now resolved. By using mapping, affordances, signifiers, feedback, consistency, and other heuristics, I was able to make a successful prototype. Through ideating, conducting crea a creative process, user research, user testing, and heuristic evaluation. My findings prove that Trender is a strong fashion-focused fo concept that upholds excitement for all fashion enthusiasts and can be provided as a useful tool for influencers to enhance their content for their audience. The one to three minute time length gives the user enough freedom to explore and showcase their talents, as well as keeping the video precise and appropriately compact for their views. Trends may come and go, but Trender is here to stay. Thank you very much.